What's good, Josh? Your boy Ross back at it again with another video. So before we get into this topic, I just want to say thank you guys so much for helping me reach 80k. I can't believe I reached 80,000 subscribers in such a short amount of time. It seems like yesterday I was just at 70k. So I'm so thankful um, for everyone that uh, that is subscribed to the channel. If you're new, welcome. If you've been here for a while, thank you so much, man. You guys have literally changed my life. We're almost at 100k, so uh, I'm looking forward to you know seeing how fast the channel can grow, man. So road to 90k is gonna be my new saying at the end of every video, and uh, I am really excited to uh, keep the momentum going, man. We gotta check out an article uh, from WrestlingNews.com, man. Roman Reigns is taking time off from WWE TV this summer. This uh, does not sound good, and uh, it's one of those type of things where it's like, if he's taking off time for the summer, then what's going to happen with the championships? Is this going to be more or less another Brock Lesnar situation? If you guys remember, when Brock Lesnar became the Universal Champion uh, and the WWE Champion the first go around when he came back, he wasn't really on television that much. He was there for like maybe some of the pay-per-views, but Monday Night Raw didn't really have a championship, uh, uh, the, like the main championship, the top championship. They didn't have it because Brock Lesnar was barely there for the show. So I don't know if this is going to be that situation. I hope it's not, but we're going to see uh, what's going on here. And let's get right into this article, man. Days after Roman Reigns got fans talking, following his promo from Saturday's live event where he talked about going into the next phase of his life. It looks like the undisputed WWE Universal Champion is taking a hiatus from appearing on WWE television and working live events. As previously reported, he recently signed a new WWE deal with a reduced schedule. PWInsider.com first reported that Reigns is not advertised for any TV events or house shows in July and August. This hiatus starts after the June 24th edition of SmackDown until Labor Day. Damn. That's a long time to be gone, bro, from television. Like, <laughs> damn, man. That's a long time to not have your, your top champion with the top championships. Like, I don't know this. I don't know about this one. This this is not sounding too good. However, Reigns is only advertised for money in the bank and SummerSlam. WWE could still pull him uh, from these events as Brock Lesnar has been advertised for WrestleMania Backlash for weeks, despite WWE never having plans to use him at the event. Dave Meltzer talked about the situation on today's Wrestling Observer Radio. With Reigns being away for 10 weeks, it's possible that he's filming a movie or just needed a break as there's no word yet on why on why, uh, why is, uh, on why, why he's taking time off. I'm trying to get more information on this, but he was removed from all shows. His last show is June 19th until Labor Day. I don't know what the situation is other than he is scheduled for the two pay-per-view shows all TV and house shows. I don't know what that is, whether he's going doing a movie. Obviously, we already know he's scheduling his schedule going forward after June is going to be cut back anyways, but there will be a period where he won't even be on television because he's been removed from all advertisements. Oh man, this is Oh man. <laughs> this is this is not good for the main event scene at all man Meltzer added he's uh advertised for the two shows but i don't know what that means reigns teased in an instagram video on monday that wrestlemania backlash could be the last six-man tag match featuring the bloodline the fans will ever see man yep and I, I did watch that clip that he posted after a wrestlemania backlash talking about that on his instagram man um this is this is wild bro this is like truly i don't know this is this don't seem like a good thing for the main event scene if he's not there for that long the shows are done i mean granted they will still go on but it, it won't it won't be the same i mean you gotta 
Look at Raw. Monday Night Raw technically doesn't have a top champion because he's on SmackDown primarily. So say he's gone. They won't have a champion regardless in the same way with SmackDown. SmackDown is only really watchable or I, I guess you could say a lot of people, maybe some other people watch it for other reasons, but you really watch it to see what Roman is going to say and or do. He's the, he's the main reason that show is what it is. Um, and the same thing, well, I can't say the same with Raw because Raw, outside of Edge, and Cody Rose and what the you know what uh RK Bro is doing outside of them, it's not much that's happening on Raw either. And even though the mid card championships, this is where they can kind of get more shine. The problem is, is I don't think it's gonna be enough. Maybe if they would have been building up the mid card champions as something like really like important, maybe we wouldn't see this wouldn't be too bad. But then again, it's still 10 weeks potentially he's not going to be on anything televised for WWE, which means there's 10 weeks potentially you're not going to see the championship at all. That is, I'm not a big fan of that. The one reason I was happy that Roman had both the championships is because at least I know he's going to be on the shows. At least I know he's going to defend it. And that's what that's what made him, in my opinion, the best universal champion we've had ever. Because Rome, Brock Lesnar's title reign was it was it was it had its moments, but you barely saw the champion. And I think a lot of people complained about that. Like, damn, Monday Night Raw doesn't even have a champion because he be doing his own thing. He be at home chilling <laughs> or whatever Brock be doing. So he wasn't really on the shows and he wasn't on the pay-per-views unless it was the major pay-per-views. So it was just like, damn, the, the title was held for hostage and you don't want both of the titles now being held for hostage. I'm going to be honest with you, man. They're going to have to take the titles off him. They're going to have to. They're going to definitely have to take the titles off him at least by SummerSlam. Potentially. Money in the Bank, SummerSlam. They're going to have to take the titles off him. If he's going to be gone for 10 weeks, yeah. And I don't want to hear, oh, this makes the titles prestigious. They're already, they're already there for the most part. Roman Reigns has made the Universal Blueberry Championship seem more important than any championship ever in WWE's history. Considering how many people he's beaten, what you know, how many people he's beaten to retain the title, how long he's had it, how how the title reign has been it's had it's, it's been kind of it's had its lackluster moments but for the most part it's been fucking incredible the best thing wwe has produced in quite some time and you take it away for 10 weeks nah man nah it, it's not gonna be the same you gotta have people gotta have a reason to be on the show fighting for something all these people at some point want to be a wwe champion or the universal champion but if it's not there he's never there then what are they fighting for the intercontinental championship everybody can't fight for that the united states championship everybody can't fight for that the tag team championships everybody can't fight for that i mean you come to wwe to hold the main title that's what it's really all about so and cody came back in his promo and i do believe this is one of the stipulations why he did come back because he wanted the wwe championship and he wanted to be able to win it for his father and have one actual good title run with the wwe championship he didn't come back to watch the wwe championship be sat at home for 10 plus weeks so i don't know they're gonna have to drop the titles soon relatively soon I'm thinking SummerSlam. He's going to have to drop him, bro. I mean, I was thinking that, and a lot of people were thinking that already, but damn, this just kind of con this confirms it. This is really some shocking news, and it puts WWE in a, in a, a kind of a bind because, once again, this all goes back to everybody putting their eggs in the Roman Reigns basket. Everybody's all in for Roman. That's great. But when it's time for him to want to take a step back, want to do other things, what are you going to do? Who's going to be your next guy up? Who's going to be the guy to take the championships off of him? I mean, I don't know how they didn't see this coming. Roman <laughs> planned on at some point maybe getting invested in, in Hollywood. I mean, that's the only thing I could think of. You'd be taking 10 weeks off, maybe filming something. I could see that. 
Or maybe he just want to take time off. Who knows? But at the end of the day, when it's all said and done, I mean, WWE should have built up somebody. All the people they've had opportunities to build up, they haven't. So now what are you going to do? Because you don't have another big star right now outside of like Cody. That's about it. And Drew, he could definitely do something with the Universal Championship if they if they went that route. But there's not this slim pickings. It's literally slim pickings. You feel me? So they, they haven't really generated new stars outside of the ones we already know and love. So uh, I don't know, man. This is this is really going to put WWE in the bind because who's going to really want to watch SmackDown if <laughs> Roman Reigns ain't there for about 10 weeks? I don't really care. I ain't going to care as much. I'm not going to really care as much if the main champion is not there. Because at the end of the day, somebody got to be feuding with them for the titles at some point. There are things to watch on the show, for sure. Definitely want to see what they do with the... I, I think they're still trying to do the unification of the tag team division, so that's cool. They want to do that. You know, and there, there could be some pretty interesting feuds. But at the end of the day, you still need your, your, your top champion, the Universal Championship and the WWE Championship. And maybe, just maybe, we can get some more interesting few for the mid-card titles. Because they ain't got no other choice. They got to really push them now. They got to push the tag team division even more. And they got to push the mid-card division even more. Because your top guy is going to be gone. So, I don't know. But comment down below. Let me know what you guys think of this whole situation. With Roman Reigns potentially being gone from, te from television for this long potentially 10 weeks maybe more maybe less let me know what you guys think about that but i appreciate all the love and support road to 90k appreciate y'all kicking with me see y'all in the next one peace